Something else we're following on this topic, those asylum changes, if they go into effect, could impact thousands of immigrants and make a difference in the number of people coming to the border. Channel 5's Christian Colon heard about something else that could make a difference. He's in our newsroom. An Honduran man and his family crossed two other countries to reach the valley. Along the way, they encountered deterrence from criminal organizations to the New Mexican crackdown meant to keep immigrants from continuing their journey. Today, we learned sometimes the best messages about the journey are from the failed attempts by fellow countrymen. Together and safe, two words, the dream of the Cabrera family. He was so young, he wanted them to work for them, probably to do drugs or something. Cabrera is talking about his brother. He says his little brother was killed by gang members. He did not want to be recruited. I was scared they were going to kill my family, most of all, my kids. After his brother's murder, he lost his job. He says he was laid off since the factory moved out of the country due to high taxes. That combination of life events led the family of four to come to the U.S. He'd heard the horror stories from fellow countrymen, denied asylum and deported from the U.S. They describe encounters with cartels, kidnappings, and even murder of family members who failed to pay ransom. I talked to my wife. We decided to take the little amount of money we had saved and leave. It was a journey with the bumps he'd heard about. Along the way, he says they encountered criminal organizations who forced him to pay for his family's life and Mexican law enforcement who had prevented immigrants from getting closer to the U.S. Authorities would stop the cars. Authorities would be entertained with one car and others would pass along. Thank God our car made it past them. The Cabreras kept on going. He says he kept his mind set on making it to the United States. He traveled to Guatemala and then Mexico. Neither country interested him. Guatemala is the same as Honduras, poor, and there aren't any opportunities. It's a country with so much unemployment, which is why people are leaving there too. And Mexico? That's dangerous. Cabrera says he's blessed. He was given an opportunity here. I want to progress. I want that opportunity. Move my family forward so they can grow and have a better life with an education. The Cabreras are looking beyond their upcoming court date and are focused on what's ahead. The Cabreras are one of thousands who choose the United States over other countries. Mexico has seen an increase in asylum applications compared to previous years. United States government documents project more than 50,000 asylum applications will be submitted in Mexico by the end of the year. That's nearly doubled the number from last year. Live in the newsroom, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.